Today I want to show you how I packed everything which I had in my travel pack to my Navigator 15 liter from Nomadic. This is an interesting part. I never used the 15 liter on a constant basis before and I want to give it a try as soon as I repacked everything. Let's get started. First, get the travel pack away. Second, get the navigator on the desk. I will start from the outside. There's one pouch here, which is quite deep. Get a hand inside, which has also a key leash. I was using this nomadic key leash before with this uh, wonderful clip. I'm not sure if that works proper here, but let's give it a try. There's no mesh pocket for this one in here, so I was concerned that something might get touched or scratched, but there's a second pouch inside which I can use either for something more valuable or I put the keys in here. I hope that works. So I can still get them out and use them on my door. The second object I usually have in the extra pouch is my AirPods. And um, yeah, that's already everything which goes to usually in my direct access pocket. As you see, I haven't used it that much. So let's open the backpack. We have the RFID safe pocket here. Guess what? Passport. And the passport I have for the Swiss government. And um, yeah, I, I think that's usually everything which goes in here. I have a second pouch here and this is the interesting part. I had it still inside. Those are the straps you can use on the outside. If you ever come to the situation that you need to put something more on the backpack because you cannot put it inside the backpack, you can add those leashes here and you can put something underneath. For the moment, I think that every once in a while I put something bigger inside and my travel pack was big enough to fit it inside. So I think I leave the straps outside. Does it look well? Does it look okay? Leave a comment down below. What do you think? And um, yeah. let's go back to the interiors. There's a second zipper mesh pocket here. And that's right now something that's um, yeah. Probably take the Leatherman tool inside. This is the second one I have. I have always the Skeletool with me, but this one is the more beefy version. That's for the big stuff. And you can um, also switch the cable uh, cutter if you ever really mess that up. Usually I put it in the side pocket, but let's try it here. Oh no, I do it differently. Take this one out. Um, there's the Rode Video Micro, which I'm using, um, which I want to have on the go now, and my SD cards. So now it gets a little tricky, because in my other one I had a lot more mesh pockets. So charging cable, then I have access card and keys for uh, my restaurants. access card and keys for the other restaurant. Then I have a small tool. Probably I will put that in one mesh pocket together with the, with the multi. There was, I think, a pen pouch somewhere. I, at least I hope so. Yes, there's a pen pouch on each side of the mesh pockets. Here and here. Second cable, this is the one which was delivered with the Horizon backpack. You remember that one where you can switch between lightning and having a micro USB. Probably that goes with another pouch, should be fine with the other cable. I mostly I only need one, but just in case. Important topic right now, face masks. Yeah, I think they can go to the front as well. They will stay inside and I can still get my airport. Last but not least, a few 
few more things. Cartridges for the bullpen. Mm, yeah, they can also go in here. I have usually one and the same. It's not a ballpen, it's a, it's a gel roller uh, from Lamy. Uh, I will link up um, the video which I made about it. And I think it's partially on my everyday carry video. Um, and uh, this is my pager for the fire department. Really important. It doesn't need to be necessarily so accessible, but um, yeah, should go with me. And it's quite sturdy, so. Put them to the keys. He works. Good. Flashlight. Where to put the flashlight? Yeah, that's gonna be more of a tricky one. I don't know. I don't need it that often, so so probably also somewhere. Oh, the, the the mesh pocket, by the way. That's gonna be tricky to show. That's the mesh pocket in the bottom. Uh, let me show you. Does it work? I hope that doesn't look too stupid. There's a mesh pocket. And uh, this mesh pocket um, is the big one. It's not separated. So, hmm. Put one here. Oh, I have an idea. Uh, do I? No, no, I don't have an idea. So, there's one more mesh pocket here. Tissue papers. Probably with the flashlight. And now comes the tricky part. The bottle. So, the bottle pouch in this backpack is um on the side and it has an inner bag basically so that means it uses some of the inner space of the back yeah you already yeah there, there, there was a ping sound so i will move the flashlight to the other side because otherwise every time i take the bottle out and put it back in it's like ping 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 no that, i don't want that put the cables there put the tissue papers on the other side put the flashlight inside so, um, I would say that's all for the moment. Let me give a try if you can see that. Yep, that's the way it looks now. And I will also give you a, a second glimpse on this side. I hope that works. Yep, that looks good. And this is the way I will pack my Navigator 15 liter now. Um, since I'm not commuting for the next weeks, um, this is already just being prepared. I always like to have my backpack prepared like this. And um, it's easy to close, that works, and um, yeah. Coming to the last part, the laptop compartment. So, with the laptop compartment, it's also a different solution than before. So you have one zipper, but it's not a full parameter zipper, okay? It just opens this way and on the other side, just till here, that's not a lot. Um, there's an a separated compartment to the back side and you see the uh, 13 inch fits inside but there's not that much space and the second uh, device would be my my uh, iPad but it's on charge right now and I don't want to get up and run there so I guess that's, that that'll be fine for you guys huh so but you can imagine there's something more you can put in here if it's lower than this one it will probably be protected even if it moves a little um, that's, that's my take on it. The good thing compared to the travel pack. So the, um, the, the, the shoulder straps are a lot more sturdy, a lot beefier, and also the padding on the back is better. There's a drawback when you put it on a, on a suitcase, um, on, a, on, a, on a stroller, rolling one, whatever you call it, that you have it have to be standing, you know. It's not that you put it on sideways, which is good sometimes from the sorting inside, but from handling then the suitcase later, it's difficult because the the, the, um, the handle will only go till here. So my take on it. Uh, chest strap. I never used that before, but I got to get to use it now because it makes your um, makes the whole load balance a lot better. The straps come a little closer. And you don't have all the pressure here where you have the soft tissue of your muscles but you get also some part here which is a lot easier to carry actually um, over long times handle wise one handle on the top one handle on the each side no handle at the bottom okay i think that's totally fair for the um, travel bag they made it that it's one on each side but 
yeah, just to keep in mind, put it that way into an airport, uh, into an airplane. Mm, that makes it a little easier. So, what did we forget? There's an ex expansion part. There's a zipper going around here. And you see that it expands now on uh, this part. And uh, you get a little more extra space. I think it's four liters, you get extra five. But if you need it, um, let's have a look what it means for the inside. Yeah, that, 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 that's quite a bit more what you have. Um, one interesting part, why didn't I use it right away? First, and as you saw it already when I was packing it, it is a little smaller. Actually, it's a lot smaller than the one I had before. It's five liters. Um, and the travel pack goes from 20 to 30. I mean, that, that, that's a lot. And um, I, every once in a while I have stuff which I carry around with me and I don't have the big suitcase, the Horizon, the H6 um, with me. And um, in those cases, it was always the nicer part to have, uh, have it with me. So last but not least, there's a one more pouch here. So now I was always thinking, go, do I go back and put the AirPods there? But honestly, I don't access them that often, but probably that's gonna be the case for the future. Have it back here. And um, yeah, that's my packing of the Navigator 15 liter. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'm happy to answer them in the comments or one of another video. If that's more detailed, I don't shy away to make an extra video on this. Um, we didn't talk about those super important, really small reflector strips. Um, yeah, I mean, a little safety, shall we good. Um, yeah. Besides this, I guess that's all. Thank you for watching the video. It's been a bit longer one. And if you like that, if you like longer content as well, leave a like. And um, if you want to hear more of those things, more about my everyday carry and stuff which I use on a daily basis, then subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Oh, hey guys, I forgot one thing. My credit cards. They go also in the RFID safe pocket because I basically don't use them Apple Watch, iPhone, Apple Pay, yeah, you name it. Um, but then now it's really all, okay?